strong that when we would walk in, all the tables would start vibrating and the people would start falling out with the power of God. I remember coming from the meeting the one night and um, it was just such a weight of the presence of the Lord. <laughs> walking in there and it was just such a weight in God's glory and I remember as I walked in the people just started like vibrating in the presence of God and uh, and like the whole place just started shaking the glory of God hit it so hard and for about an hour there was just a mess right in the middle of Danny's and I remember the weight the chef came out after a little while and he said I haven't got a clue who you are and I do not know what is going on in this place, but I wanted to know we're not going to serve you and you can have to leave. So I didn't end up getting my food, which is one of the drawbacks. Sometimes you get a, a, an enforced fast for upon you because you just whacked up and they don't like the look of you, so they won't serve you a meal. But we were there in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the stadium, in the baseball stadium, and these guys came over to me and they did like an interview with me and they wanted to interview about the wild Welsh wine that was being released, which is nothing more than the joy of our salvation which we all carry on a daily basis absolutely no lack whatsoever and I remember the glory of God was just so strong as he did this interview and then people started gathering around and just falling out into the power of God and it was just a mess some of you guys may have saw us there it was just a mess and the next thing I know someone came up to me and said uh, he said listen you know um, we don't know who you are but you're gonna have to leave because you're causing a disturbance <laughs> And I said, disturbance, I thought this was revival. And they said, you're going to have to be thrown outside the gates. And I said, well, I know someone else who was thrown outside the gates. You carry on. So they let me out and put me outside. But how many of you know that God is raising up a generation of people that are going to cause major disturbances wherever they go? There's a revelation of the gospel that God is bringing right now that is liberating us totally from self-effort, from South Haps, there's a, there's, a, there's a revelation that he's bringing that is causing a whole generation to rest in the finished works of the cross. We're, we're waking up to the reality of our identity in Christ and we're recognizing that we can do absolutely nothing at all to add or complement to the glory of what Christ accomplished on behalf of mankind. There is something so amazing in this evolution that's going on on the inside of us right now. As a people, we are filled with all of the fullness of everything that He is. We even have the mind of Christ. It's not even that our mind is being renewed. Our mind is coming into the realization of the mind of Christ which is already on the inside of us. We lack, as a body of people, absolutely nothing. But for so long there has been this teaching that has caused a cap to come on everything that is the life and the energy and the glory of everything that this new creation is and has brought such a limitation and a restriction but thank be to God that there is a revelation of the Holy Ghost that is being released right now which is causing us to be liberated and come into the glorious freedom of everything that Christ died to bring us into which is the mystery of Christ in us the hope of the realization of the glory of God. Last year the Lord spoke to us and He said that this last year was going to be a time of evolution producing revolution. And there was going to be an evolving that was going to go on on the inside of the people of God. The many of the mindsets that we had inherited as evangelical Christians were going to be challenged right to the core. And we were going to start to realize that so much of what we had taken on board, instead of releasing the drink and bringing us into the freedom of God, actually just put a cap on us and stopped us manifesting the beauty of Jesus. Wow! Whoa! He said, son, this is going to be a year where people are going to end up leaving it, scratching their heads, saying, I don't know where I believe anymore. How many of you feel like you've been there a little bit? It's good to have the mindsets that have, that have caused us to be formed into who we have been over the last hundreds and hundreds of years to be challenged and for the axe to come to the root of the tree so that we start to manifest yet again the glory of who we really are. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. I am so drunk. <laughs> Oh, sometimes it's hard to be a son. 
Borracho. <laughs> wow. So it's so good to be here with you guys. We're doing a cruise in Miami, from Miami in uh, September or October. I don't know when it is. October, I think. It will be so good if you guys come and join us. You're pretty close. You only just got to get on a bus and go down to Miami and then the ship will go out of there. We've done two or three of these things now and all I know is there is a heavy manifestation of the presence of God that comes. And together we just do a little hour and hour and relax together. We're going to be going into Puerto Rico and a few other places. Prince of God is going to be with us continually. The glory of God is going to break out massively 